So we'd originally planned to start filming today, but there's been a change of plans and one of our actors can't make it. So we're gonna head down and pick up the kit now and uh, try and change things around. So we got into Manchester, dropped off all the kit and brought it to Tyra's, uh, which is where we're now going to be filming tomorrow. We've had a bit of a change of plans, like I said a little bit earlier on, so we are going to be doing all the filming on Friday and Monday next week instead now. So today we've got a little bit of a free day. Tyra has got an appointment in a little bit, so we're going to get ready and we're going to head to that now. If there is one thing that I have learned from film production so far, it is that things never go to plan. The situation is constantly changing and no matter how much you plan for it, there's always gonna be that curveball which is gonna completely send your plans out of, uh, out of what you originally expected. I mean, take this video for instance. I originally planned to take you around my day on Whirlpool and show you all of the BTS from being on a small production set. Obviously we had the issue this morning with actors and they weren't available to come and shoot today. And that has completely thrown off an entire day's worth of shooting and meant that we've had to shift our entire production back by two whole days. Now, while problem solving is an important part of the process, that's not to say that planning isn't equally as important while creating a film. The more planning you do in the first place, the easier it is to solve those problems as they arise. And planning isn't just part of the script or pointers for talking. Uh, it can be so many different things. Oh God, that's really stuck. What is that stuck? It can be really in depth. It could be planning what days you're going to shoot, the equipment you're going to need, the cast, the crew, the locations. It can be a wide variety of different things and it can be as in-depth or as brief as you feel necessary. Even I'm still learning this to a certain extent. I mean, I never script or plan out videos or definitely didn't before I started film production. And I'm trying to do that more in my normal videos, I'm trying to plan things out, script things out to a certain extent. Um, it doesn't have to be in depth or deep, it's just something to give you that purpose, to give you that reason to make something or even to give you an idea of what you're going to be making in the first place. As an example, the filming equipment which I have been setting up, which is university film equipment, we booked that for four days as it's a sort of a long bank holiday weekend. And we only planned to use it for two of those days, for originally the Thursday and the Friday. And I'd planned that I was going to use that equipment on the Saturday and the Sunday, giving me uh, some time to do some of my own videos. And I'd already planned that in and scheduled that. Obviously, because we can't film today, it just means rescheduling those things and swapping a few things around. I'd already planned what to do with that equipment and I knew what I needed to do and where I could set it up and where I wanted it to go. So it was just a case of switching the days and getting things set up. On, uh, on an off topic, I'm actually really happy with this setup. Um, the boom pole, I couldn't figure out how to 
there isn't actually a screw to mount it so I've had to just tie it with a bit of string there um, but it holds the aperture I've got bouncing off the roof so that it lights this this area here and then I've got C100 set up there with the 14mm f 1.4 that is sort of my current setup and what I'm going to be using today uh, and that's for another video which I'm going to be posting in a few weeks time I haven't fully planned out when they're gonna they're gonna fall into place uh, because I do want to get my short film that we did previously our last short film um, on this channel as well um, so scheduling it might it might take a few weeks but it will definitely be there right I need to get to filming so what does strong planning actually look like? Well, that entirely depends on the type of project that you're doing. If you are doing a big project like the short film that we're currently working on, every single detail has to be meticulously sorted out and planned out from the location to the casting to the equipment that you're going to be using. Everything needs to be right and that gives you the best possible opportunity to deal with the problems that might possibly come up like has happened today. But with a video like this, um, the planning needs to be no more than a few bullet points. I mean, that's all that I've done for today's video. A few bullet points of what I wanted to get off and what I wanted to talk about. And besides that, the rest of it has just sort of been on the day and, and what's happened. And in either of those scenarios, that's perfectly okay. The planning fits the project. The higher the stakes, the more planning is required. The more people that depend on your output, the more effort you need to make sure or you need to put into ensuring that things don't go wrong and that you have alternatives for when things do go wrong. So whether it's for a big project or a small personal video, planning is essential and it's the best way to prepare for when things inevitably don't go your way. It happens more than you'd think. Speaking of which, I am going to get back to planning for tomorrow's shoot. I'm going to get this all offloaded and I'm gonna get into bed. So I will see you next week.